In this video, I want to define Cayley diagrams or Cayley graphs. Let G be a group that's determined by a set of generators and defining equations. And the idea is I want to be able to represent the structure of this group in a diagram known as a Cayley diagram. In a Cayley diagram, there's a vertex for every group element. And there are arrows representing the multiplication by a generator or addition if you're in an additive group. Let's suppose G is a cyclic group generated by A. Then we would let the arrow represent multiply by A. So we would have our group elements. For a cyclic group, they're of the form A, A squared, A cubed, etc. And we would draw arrows. E times A is A. A times A is A squared and we keep going higher and higher. So for a cyclic group, we would just have a line. If it's a finite cyclic group, maybe we have a circle. And if the group has two generators like A and B, then we need two kinds of arrows. Let's consider this group. We built the group table for this in a previous video. To start with, I'm going to start laying out some of my group elements, like E, B, and B squared. I also want to have an A, which I'm going to put here. I need an AB. And I need an AB squared. Now that I have all my group elements out, I can start thinking about my arrows. We have two generators, and I'm going to let a blue arrow represent multiplication by A. E times A is A. B times A would be BA, or AB squared. B squared times A is AB, and you can check that in the group table that we built in the previous video. We also know that A times A is E, since A squared is E. AB squared times A is also B, once again going back to our group table, and AB times A will be B squared. Once again, we can go back to our group table to check that those are accurate. I'm now going to do another color. I'm going to do red for B. E times B is B. B times B is B squared. B squared times B is B cubed, or E. A times B is AB. AB times B is AB squared, and AB squared times B would be AB cubed, or A. So this here is my Cayley diagram. And when you're first doing these, it might be kind of complicated to figure out exactly where to put the group elements to make the pictures look nice, but that's something that we do with practice. Now let's consider another group that we had previously built a group table for in a different video. A commutative group on three elements where a squared, b squared, and c squared are all the identity. To build this one, I'm going to put e here. Below that, I'm going to do a, b, and c. We then have a, b, b, c, and a, c, and then I'll put a, b, c at the bottom. Let's let a blue arrow represent a. We know that e times a is a. And A times A is A squared, or E. And when we have these arrows that go in both directions, it's really common to just ignore the arrows and draw a straight line. And that indicates that it does move in both directions. B times A is AB. And AB times A is B. C times A is AC. And AC times A is C. We then have BC times A is ABC, and ABC times A is BC. So now we can see everything has a blue line coming out of it. 
so we're done with A. I'll now use red for B. E times B is B, and B times B is E. A times B is AB, AB times B is A. C times B is BC, and BC times B is C. And then AC times B is ABC, and ABC times B is AC. And now everything has a red line, so we're done with B. Finally, I'll use this green for C. E times C is C, and C times C is E. A times C is AC, and AC times C is A. B times C is BC, and BC times C is B. AB times C is ABC, and ABC times C is AB, and now everything has a green line. So I am done with my Cayley diagram. Let's do one more. I want to look at Z8, generated by 2 and 3. So I'm going to let my generating set be 2 and 3. The elements of Z8 are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I'm going to let a red arrow represent 2. And since this is an additive group, we need to add 0 plus 2 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, 6 plus 2 is 8, which is equivalent to 0 here, and 7 plus 2 is 9, which is equivalent to 1. And now everything has a red arrow coming both in and out of it, so we are done with 2. I'm going to let a blue arrow denote 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 3 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8, which is the same thing as 0. 6 plus 3 is 9, which is the same thing as 1. And 7 plus 3 is 10, which is the same thing as 2. So now everything has a blue arrow coming both in and out of it. So this is my Cayley graph.